Hey guys, today we're going to go over phase one and phase two fire recall with elevators. Anytime you report to a building um, for a fire investigation that has an elevator, you're going to want to go to the alarm panel first and you're going to find the lowest alarming floor and that's going to be your floor, or fire floor until proven otherwise. While you're at the alarm panel, if you want to use the elevators, you should grab your elevator key. So once you go to the elevator lobby, you're going to find your phase one switch. Your phase one switch is going to be outside of the elevator car somewhere in the elevator lobby. It's going to be a key switch. And it may or may not say phase one recall on it, uh, but it's going to be the key switch on the outside of the main elevator lobby. And you, it should be red. You're going to flip this key switch into the on position, and you're going to take your key back out. And this, what this does, it just recalled all of the elevators in the bank back down to the main elevator lobby. Um, it'll open the door for you as well. So if there's multiple elevators in the bank, you'll go ahead and search all of the elevators quickly, just in case there's building occupants that try to exit the building using the elevators. So the next thing that we're going to do once we choose what elevator we want to use is we're going to take our hand light, we're going to shine it up in the hoist way, and we're going to look for smoke, fire, or water. And if we see any of those things up in the hoist way, we're not going to use this elevator. So we just um, looked up in the hoist way and we didn't see anything that looked bad, so we are going to go ahead and use this elevator. And what we want to do is we want to find our phase two switch inside of the elevator. Um, the phase two switch is going to be a key switch and there will usually be a fire department emblem near the key switch on this one. It may or may not say phase two switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take control of the elevator by flipping the key switch into the on position and now I'm going to do my functions test. So when I have this elevator car in phase two, I took complete control of the elevator car. So I'm going to have to hold down these buttons in order to make the doors close or open. And all of the safeties are now shut off on the entranceway. So if somebody is walking through here, the only thing that's going to stop that door from closing is you letting go of the button. Um, the reason this is is because the infrared sensors here don't know the difference between smoke and a person. So if you accidentally go to a floor with products of combustion on it and smoke enters it, the doors will stay open because it thinks a person is coming through and it doesn't want to crush a person. So all of those are shut off. We're going to do our functions test real fast. Um, we're going to try and close the elevator and if we let go before it's all the way closed, it should kick right back open, which it did, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and hold the elevator close button, the door close button. Let it close all the way. Now I'm going to do the peak function. The peak function is if I hold the elevator door open button then, and I see something I don't like as the door is open, if I let go of it, it'll shut back. Keep all the smoke out. So now I'm going to go ahead and test my call cancel button. So I'm going to select a floor and then cancel that floor out. Um, so if I choose R2 here and then press call cancel, it should shut the light off. So all those things worked, so I'm going to go ahead and choose R2 here. Um, that's going to be our two floors below the fire floor. Um, and once we arrive at two floors below the fire floor, we're going to go ahead and hold the door open button on the elevator. And our company will go ahead and exit and then they make their way to the stairwell. After our company, or as our company exits, they're going to go ahead and take this phase two key switch and flip it back to the off position and leave the key inside the elevator. What this is going to do is it's going to kick phase one back in and it's going to recall this elevator car back to the main elevator lobby so another company can use this elevator. So it's a good thing to do once you exit the elevator to announce to the on incoming companies which elevator car you're recalling back to the lobby so that they don't have to search for the key in all the elevators. And this has been phase one, phase two fire service recall.